For this set, I'll be using my McCart Full Coverage Clear Coffin Nails. The monomer is by Nail by Nikki. Hey girl, hey! And then three not polished two-in-one powders, Night Crawlers in Purple White, both of which are glow-in-the-dark, and then clear. I have my size 12 Sophia Kalinske brush, and for filing, I use a 100-180 grit hand file and my Burano Smart e-file which you will only see a brief clip later. So while I'm going in with clear, how are you today? Hey nail tubers and hello to all the new subscribers. I've been having such a good time and enjoying my nail area. And while I'm doing this clear, in case you're not familiar, the clear is optional since I'm using full coverage nails. It's usually used first, similar to the concept of a base coat. It prevents staining of the natural nail, but I'm doing this for viewer's sake and to form habit for myself. This only requires a thin layer and I go in with wet beads. I like the McCart Coffin Nails because they already have that nice C-curve and I like the fit they offer around the cuticle. The only customizing you might have to make is to the side walls for the width. Otherwise, I feel they're pretty much wear and go. I'll be doing a lot more acrylic practices and dip practices now that I have all these beautiful colors to choose from and likewise when I start collecting gels and poly gels. I'm still working on much of my acrylic skill, and while doing so, I still like the nail sets I create. I embrace this relearning process. I've also mentioned before that acrylic powders are not all the same, so here I'm even getting a feel for this acrylic powder. By the way, in case you're not familiar, a 2-in-1 powder is called this because it can be used as acrylic or a dip system, so you will definitely be seeing me doing dip nails. This powder seems to be a little more than medium setting. What we mean by this is how fast it sets to dry. I feel like I'm doing well with the bead consistency, but from there I'm noticing a point where you have to work it into form, not necessarily super fast, but there's definitely that noticeable moment of polymerization that you don't want to miss.
One of my primary goals is to improve shaping. I think my work looks relatively well, but we know there's always room for improvement because you know what I like? I truly love nails with sharp, crisp edges. They just give me all the mood for real. So I'll keep working and growing. Second to that is cuticle work. Although we can often correct or even camouflage some cuticle inefficiencies, my desire is not to have to make those corrections because that's the biggest location for lifting to begin. I believe you always have to self-assess. I didn't say self-criticize because we often are our own worst critics, aren't we? And I don't want to be hung up doing that. I prefer to remain optimistic. If I constructively analyzed where cuticle work could be improved, I'd say for starters, blame it on Yoko. <laughs> well, actually, Yoko's cuticles are so small. Not only that, they're also somewhat straight and square. The conflict I'm having is my brush is large with a rounded tip, which is why you see the acrylic laid round, but there's still spaces where her square cuticles are. I am learning to work the bead by placing it lengthwise and allowing the bead to spread a little before I start to move it. Is it coming out perfect each time? No, but trust me, it's going to get better and better. So those were a few tips for when you're working with acrylics. Oh, one more thing, which is actually not a tip, but more so some encouragement for you. Don't get hung up on numbers of beads, guys. Work whatever you need to to create nice nails. You'll hear this from many other nail technicians and enthusiasts. Please keep in mind that what you learn in school is all basic practice. Basic meaning primary, essential, rudimentary. It's only a foundation, a foundation of what you're going to build upon. So don't become discouraged if you're struggling with only using two or three beads. I'll let you in on a little secret. I never followed that precisely once I was out of school. Because guess what? I was struggling with it too much while I was in school. <laughs> As you can see, I used many beads. Well, maybe too many. <laughs> no, just kidding. Do what's best for you and your client as long as you follow safety and sanitation protocol according to your state guidelines. So now I'm starting to sound like an educational PSA. <laughs>
With all that said, allow this to be something of pleasure for you. Enjoy doing this. Don't turn this into stress for yourself. I'm just talking and talking. It's because I'm enjoying your company today and I always love seeing your comments too. I mentioned before that I've started recognizing many of you, even if it's just to say hello. hope you're enjoying today's video as much as I am. If you are, don't forget to hit the like button and leave me a comment. This is the Nail Tube family and you are a part of it. If you haven't already, join us and hit the subscribe button and make sure you touch that nailification because that's what I'm changing the name of it to. The nailification bell so you don't miss any more uploads and some helpful tips from me. Look, I've been enjoying this so much, I forgot about narrating the video. <laughs> so I'm just topping this off with clear, and then I'll be filing, which you'll only see a very brief clip of. So these nail stickers are also from Not Polish, and they glow in the dark too. I can't wait to see this. I just added a few pieces and wanted to keep this set simple and elegant. Ooh, I think this is something Louis Vuitton himself would do. Stone placement in the arrangement of a tiara? Yes, honey. I love it. It's so simple and so sophisticated, darling. And the glow? I'm going out tonight. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.